Hi there, welcome to Nanos's Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and if this is your first time on the channel, don't forget to hit the like button, and of course subscribe for more content just like this every Monday and Thursday. Today, we're gonna to be checking out something that is widely available all throughout the world. It's a blended scotch, and that is the Chivas Regal 12 Year. This is only a small bottle, but this is something that I have in my house quite regularly. I had just finished a bottle of this before I decided to do the, uh, the actual video for it. And I thought I might as well buy a small one while I was in an airport, uh, just, to, just to tide me over for the channel. But this is it, it's a 12 year blended Scotch whiskey. As you can see on the label, it says, established 1801 in Aberdeen. And that's the Shivers Brothers set up a shop for kind of fancy and fine luxury goods. And at some point they decided that they were going to get into the whiskey blending market because they wanted to produce something that was easier to drink than the kind of harsh, young single malts and whiskies that were being produced at the time. You know, this was kind of aged for three years, bang it out. They wanted to make something that was blended, well-rounded, nice and smooth. They could charge a little bit more for it. And they started out with a couple of little, of, of what we would call no age statement blends now and then eventually released a kind of 25 year super premium market one. Nowadays, it's been sold a few times. It got sold to Seagram's in the early 1900s. And in 2000, a bidding war between Diageo and Pernod Ricard ended up going to Pernod Ricard. So now this is still obviously made in Scotland and blah, 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 and distributed by Pernod Ricard. This is their kind of entry level, the 12 year. I'm sure most of you have seen this before, but they have some others, and that includes a no age statement version of this called the Extra, I think it's called. I'm not even sure if it's the version of this, but it's extra sherry in influence on it. They've got a kind of 18 year old, and they've got a 25 year old, just like they released as their first age statement aged one. They've also got a couple of quite upmarket no age statements, which include a no grain blended malt, which is quite interesting, quite interesting, because usually grain goes in these things as kind of bulking liquid, so they put quite a lot of grain in and then put these single malts in to influence that flavor of the base grain. So, let's go on to the whiskey itself and find out what we got. It's bottled at 40%, just as you'd expect. It's really quite cheap in the UK. Um, I would hope it's cheap everywhere, but for the, in the UK, you're talking £26 to £30 for a full-size bottle. This was dirt cheap in an airport, probably something silly like sort of £14 or something like that, but you can't argue with that. And it's really available everywhere. It'll be in bars, you can order drams of this. you would be able to get it on supermarkets or whatever liquor store is near you. Let's check out the dram and see if it's any good. Straight away on the nose, I'm going to avoid the word smooth as best I can, but it's undeniably, you know, it's creamy vanilla, maybe even a touch fruity, but more kind of tropical, banana-y kind of notes to it. Definitely some serious ex-bourbon barrels going on here, without a doubt. Let's try. Oh, it's like super easy drinking. It's barely noticeable as a whiskey. You know how sometimes you get that kind of alcohol burny, kind of peppery spiciness from the, the actual ethanol that's in there. Not so with this, this has been well rounded. The edges have been smoothed out. It's a kind of basic tasting whiskey, I would say. And I don't mean that in a kind of negative way either. It's it's not overly complex, but sometimes that's what you need, and it's priced accordingly. This is your kind of 26 to 30, to 30 pounds, that's your daily sipper kind of bracket. So you could buy a bottle of this probably a month and not worry about just having a little bit now and then, and just and just get through it. It's, it's pretty, pretty standard drinking. Mm. Some more of that oak coming through as well, but not a lot, not a lot. You really have to look for that. I think it's one of those no flies on this dram. You know, it's, I could come up with a whole heap of negatives. Oh, it's, it's a bit basic, it's a bit boring, whatever, but it's, but it's none of those things really, when you really think about it. 
I mean, in comparison to some of the things that you can get for 45, 50 quid, sure. You know, especially if you're a fan of smoky whiskies, you're not gonna find that here. If you're a fan of really heavy sherry, you're not gonna find that here. But this is the kind of drink that you can quite happily sit and sup and be happy about it. It's not gonna challenge you in any way. It's not gonna sit there and, and blow your mind, but it's just gonna be good, honest drinking whiskey. And I don't think I can say any fairer than that about it. I'm definitely gonna be bringing the more aged versions of it to the table at some point, if I can get hold of them, for a reasonable price, we'll see. So do consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos just like that. I've got other stuff coming out, blends, scotches, I've even got some more Irish coming. It's been a while since I've come, um, covered some Irish. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to watch more. Thank you.